also want to address the issue of uh, Transnet's alleged links to uh, state capture, uh, because Transnet so far um, has been um, uh, in the news for the wrong reasons, and to indicate to you that uh, um, we have continued to, uh, where allegations have been made, we have continued to report that to the police, but also to investigate that. And uh, there is a board-led um, uh, investigation in terms of the 1064 locomotives, but we, we also, as management and through um, forensic auditors, um, we investigate all other um, <clears throat> allegations that have been made. You would know that largely uh, the allegations that have been made have not been made against Transnet itself. These allegations have been made against Transnet suppliers, um, where it is alleged that uh, some of Transnet suppliers, uh, such as uh, SAP, Software AG, Liber Africa, McKinsey, CSR, and ZPMC, were paying commissions to third parties after securing contracts with Transnet. We have to establish that Transnet received value for all contracts that it entered into and that no exorbitantly priced contracts were entered into. We have requested these companies to indicate to us if any past or current employees of Transnet requested that they pay any kickbacks to themselves or any other third parties. Some of these third parties we've never heard of, we don't know who they are. Some companies have denied any involvement of Transnet employees in such activities. And as you would have noted from recent media reports last Thursday, uh, SAP or SEP has exonerated Transnet from wrongdoing. According to the SEP statement, investigations uh, into uh, third party payments has not revealed any evidence of payment to any Transnet employees. Transnet have no knowledge of the arrangements between SEP uh, and the people that it paid commissions. That, that thing is between SEP um, and um, uh, the SEP sales teams in terms of whatever commission structure that SEP has. Um, so the preliminary view um, is that um, that is a matter between SEP uh, and the people that it paid. Uh, there, there was no canvassing or involvement of any Transnet employee um, in terms of that particular matter. But as, as I've said, we, um, we, we, we don't know what our suppliers do, or we don't know uh, who our suppliers, suppliers are, or sup who our suppliers' customers are um, as Transnet. Um, and uh, our, our preliminary view and what we found is that there wasn't anything between Transnet and SEP uh, that, that said they will pay a third party any commission. But th th those investigations are continuing, um, but in terms of the preliminary review, uh, no Transnet employee is involved um, in this. Um, so uh, we hope that um, uh, as Transnet that we are exonerated, uh, but uh, it looks like they do have um, within themselves some kind of aggressive sort of uh, commission structure that they use. Um, and their view was that they need to deal with that commission structure mm -hmm. themselves in mm -hmm. terms of their governance processes around it.